Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In uh, this episode, we are going to be working on this uh, this errands, and uh, the issue that we're having with it is the it's not driving when you put your foot on the uh, accelerator, either forward or back. And uh, this is one of the models that has the uh, the plastic rear differential. They do get a bad rap, mainly due to the lack of maintenance and how. Uh, finicky they are about being clean. These transmissions are used in some of the Aaron's, some of the Husqvarna's, some of the, uh, the John Deere's. Uh, but let me uh, take you to the back side here and I'll show you what, what we're working on. All right, at the back of the mower here, uh, we already have the battery disconnected, uh, battery tray removed, already took off a couple of the belts and uh, you can see down in here these arms usually get packed up with like dirt and leaves and stuff and then that locks up and jams and uh, that's not really the case that we had on this one uh, it could be due to the uh, the wear on it but let me pull this guy out and uh, show you the issue that we had with it all right, just for a quick comparison, over here is our new unit. Uh, over here is the old one. And uh, if you look at the old one here, you can tell that this should all be kind of one piece. This is the, the bottom of you know what should be a case there. And then that just rides in that bushing there. And uh, you can see this thing was just forced, and this ended up grinding through there, locking everything up. Surprisingly, these did not snap. So, you can tell that this was just a fraction away from snapping, but having this all blown out uh, kept the whole thing from working. So, ordered up a new piece, and let's get the, uh, the new one in. To start installing this, you do want to come through here and clean all of this section out here. That's what gets jammed up on these little cams. So if you do have one of these, um, definitely make sure to clean that out. So then we're going to come through here. Slide one side of this hook over there. And then same on the other side. And then these just pivot down in there. So you just let that kind of free hang. So then this will just pivot in there, rising up and down. And then we could take our pulley assembly here. We're going to loop the tooth belt around it. Get that belt out of the way. And we're just lining up the, uh, the bottom of that pin inside that coupler down there. And then just press it in and it should sit just like that. Then what we'll do is come back through and put in our, our screws in the top here. All right, so we're just dropping our screws in to line up with the holes there. And then drive them all in. Remember, it's a plastic case, so you don't have to crank them in with a, an impact gun or anything. All right, that part of the assembly is done. Now we just need to route our belt. All right, then we just need to put our battery box back in. 
so we got to run our wires through the box here. And we can drop our battery back in. Alright, just like that. Alright, we got uh, everything uh, put back together, so uh, let's try it and see if it fixed it. Replacing that primary drive clutch pulley, I forget what it's called offhand, but I'll put a link in the description below, uh, seems to have fixed this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's back running and moving forward and back. So, you know, if you do have one of these uh, plastic transmissions, uh, just make sure that you are cleaning out your, your cam levers and uh, you should be good to go if it's already past that point. Well, now you know how to fix it. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you haven't done so.